This is Henesis from Arm Hug, and we've got Eduardo Zamira today joining us to talk a little bit about Griner Bio One. So some of you may or may not have heard of this, but this is actually a product company. So they sell a lot of phlebotomy supplies. They sell a lot of lab supplies. So if you're a lab tech or phlebotomist and you're looking for supplies, tune in. Eduardo, get us started. Like, how did you get started working at Griner Bio One? Yeah, thank you, Hennessy. Yeah, so my name is Eduardo Zamora. I usually go by Eddie, so either one's fine, but Eduardo. Um, so I got started at Griner Bio One uh, in 2021. Uh, my background is in phlebotomy, so I'm more of a clinical setting. I worked as a phlebotomist. Um, I've, it's been about six years now um, in hospitals, clinics, research, uh, public health, kind of just around out here on the West Coast in California. Um, and then I had an opportunity to uh, work with Griner Bio One. And like you mentioned, we're one of the leading manufacturers in blood collection supplies and also in plastics. Um, we manufacture more than just blood collection supplies, but I am a product specialist uh, currently on the pre-analytical side of, uh, of the company. And so as a product specialist, it's really my job to help train um, and provide education uh, to any and all Griner Bio One users and customers. So if anyone's using um, our products and, you know, as a phlebotomist, we probably don't pay attention to who manufactures our supplies all that often. Um, so you might've seen our label, our, our logo, which is right behind me. Um, but yeah, if you use our products, we are here as a product specialist team to provide training and support, um, which I think is super important. Um, we we'll probably talk about our, our training in a little bit, but yeah, that's that's what I do. Um, and it's a great uh, a great career, a great job to be in, um, and I have a lot of fun helping technicians on a day to day basis learn our products. Awesome, that's awesome. So I mean, let's jump right in then. Do you have any to share with us today? I know that um, what you guys are really interested is in the safety of the mm -hmm. phlebotomist. I always I always feel like that when I think of your products, I'm always thinking about, are people being trained properly mm. using these products? I mean, you guys really uh, opened my eyes to how, how detailed our training should be. And maybe it just hasn't, it, it hasn't been for, for a while. Yeah, definitely. So out here in California, when I started um, as a phlebotomist, we're actually mandated by the state to have a licensure and to uh, complete a phlebotomy program. But this isn't the case all across the state. Yourself, you're in New York. And so you probably also had to go through some type of licensure process. I think there's four states um, in the United States that actually require some type of state license. And the rest kind of just leave it up to the hospitals or to the public health department. It, it's really um, different. It's, it's a spectrum, I guess. And so phlebotomy training isn't provided uh, at a standard across the board. Of course, we have a Clinical Laboratory Standards Institute that sets forth uh, these standards, but um, not everyone is required to show that they meet those standards or that they understand um, you know, how to safely use uh, blood collection devices or how to you know, use the proper order of draw. Um, and so as Granite Bio One, as a national company, as a, as a worldwide company, because really Granite Bio One um, started in Austria, um, across the Atlantic. And so here in the United States, we're based in North Carolina, um, in Monroe, North Carolina. And so we have really taken it upon ourselves as a manufacturer to make sure that whoever is using our product um, has the proper training uh, to use it safely and to activate those uh, safety devices correctly. Um, as we know, as phlebotomists ourselves and being in the medical field, it's uh, very important to prevent uh, needle injuries. And, you know, that, that's what we, we aim to do. So as product specialists before the pandemic, uh, what we would really do is go out to these hospitals or these clinics and train on site. You know, really a part of our job is, is performing evaluations and making sure that a clinic or a hospital wants to use our product and can use it uh, safely. But with the pandemic happening, we've had to switch a lot online and we relied on uh, Zoom and Teams and used our gold training, um, which is something that we highlighted where as product specialists, we've stayed in the home for the most part, but we've still brought the training and the safety to nurses, to technicians, to medical assistants um, by doing something like we're doing now. We're meeting with these technicians virtually and we're providing training virtually um, to make sure that they're using our, our devices safely. And so, uh, like you mentioned, I have some devices to show you today, um, just so you can see the exciting things that we have going on at Griner. Um, and you'll see in a minute that I have my camera set up. I can switch over cameras very quickly um, and I can kind of troubleshoot any issues that, that we may have virtually. Great, great. 
I mean, yeah, go ahead. Of course, yeah. So let me go ahead and switch over my camera here so you can see. So this is just a device uh, that has just come out with Granite Bio One. This is our Vacuet Evo Protect. Um, this is a butterfly needle. Um, you'll see here that this is a semi-automatic uh, needle. It's a semi-automatic retraction. Um, so this is something that we're really excited about. But just to show you this device here, when we're ready to open it up, we have these two open here tears. We can go ahead and just bring that open on this side. Just open it across the bottom here. And when we bring out our device, as you can see, it's it's very recognizable as a butterfly needle here. Um, but the the really the ingenuity in this is our safety device here on the bottom. So the nice thing about this device is it's semi-automatic retraction. So if we see there are two raised edges on either side of this device. And if I just pinch and release, right. you'll see that this spring will retract and it will retract the needle with it. Um, so this is a very uh, neat device. It's very safe. Uh, we want to make sure that phlebotomists and uh, nurses and, and any user across the board can safely retract this swiftly without having to remove it from the patient's body and activate it outside of the body. So if I just go ahead and pinch and release, you see that retraction is very, very swift. If I just go ahead and bring in my foam pad here, and I'm going to bring in another device so we can kind of see what that looks like. We can kind of pretend that this is a patient's arm. If I go ahead and perform my venipuncture, okay. I perform my venipuncture. I've collected my tubes uh, per the order of draw. I'm gonna go ahead and come back to our safety device here, pinch and release. And you can see it's a very swift uh, retraction. So this is something that we're very excited at Grinding Bio One uh, to show and to showcase. Uh, but we also have kind of our bread and butter products. So we have our, let's see here. This is our evacuate multi-sample needle. So this is our straight needle um, that you might use for a normal phlebotomy procedure. Um, we also have our safety blood collection set, or I'm sorry, this is our evacuate quick shield safety tube holder um, that we have with our safety device or our safety needle attached to our holder. Um, some of the reasons why this is attached to our holder is because we wanna make sure that this device, once it's activated uh, using our safety, stays in one piece and we can dispose of it as one piece in the sharps container. Um, just to show you when we're assembling this device, we can go ahead and remove this gray cap, thread our needle into our holder here. Uh, once it's threaded through, we can go ahead and position our shield as needed. So uh, this shield is adjustable. I can go ahead and move it just over our black dot here and our black dot there is gonna indicate the position of the bevel. Uh, once I perform my venipuncture or once I'm ready to perform my venipuncture, I can go ahead and remove that cap. Uh, perform my venipuncture once I remove it from the patient's body. There are three FDA approved ways on how to activate our safety device here. Um, a lot of technicians out there don't really pay attention or don't know because we're not trained on how to activate the safety device properly. Some devices on the market only allow you one activation. Well, with ours, we allow you three. So one activation would be our thumb activation, moving our thumb from the top of the holder to the base of the shield and applying forward pressure until we hear an audible click. And this can be disposed of as one piece in the sharps container. So you can see here, this shield is going to attach uh, to the holder and it's going to allow us to dispose of this in one piece rather than some devices on the market where you're able to remove, or you would technically be able to remove the needle and the holder, separate them, but we don't allow that with our device here. Um, another activation we have is a hard surface activation. So after we've performed our venipuncture, we can go ahead and turn it over, make contact with a hard surface. Um, apply forward pressure until we hear an audible click. And this can be disposed of in the sharps container. And then just one more time, um, we do have a four finger activation. So for technicians who use the device um, and use their index finger to close the safety, we can go ahead and make sure that the black dot is facing up because we wanna make sure our bevel is up. We would then use our four finger to slide from the top of the holder to the base of the shield and apply forward pressure and hear that click. So this is just a brief demonstration of the type of training we're able to uh, show to our technicians and, and our customers across the country. Um, as you can see, it's a very clear picture. It's facing down on, on my desk. Um, I can perform venipunctures um, using things like our vein pad or our vein block, which is one of the tools that we use to train our technicians. And we can go over um, with a lot of visibility on how to use our devices. Um, just another device that we have, kind of our bread and butter, is our safety blood collection set, uh, which we, we really love to train with. 
Um, reason being is that we offer something that's called in vein activation. And just to show you real quick what in vein activation is, let me go ahead and bring up glass here. I'm gonna go ahead and open this device. And for anyone who would love a full training, I would. this is kind of an abbreviated version of our training, but I would love to go through this with anyone who's interested. Um, so please, uh, I'll give you our contact information after. Uh, but what this device offers is in vein activation, thanks to our safety device here. So if I go ahead and pinch and pull, you'll see the needle retract. And so with our device, we wanna offer in vein activation, which means that we're activating the safety device while it is still in the patient's arm. So if I go ahead and perform a venipuncture, once I perform my venipuncture and collect our tubes uh, per best practices, and go ahead and bring my gauze in, um, that gauze is gonna cover the puncture site. I would then use my index finger to hold the gauze in place uh, without applying pressure and without being directly over that puncture site. And then we we'll use a method that we've designed called anchor pinch pull, APP. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and hold our gauze in place anchor our wing, pinch that clear plastic piece, and pull until we hear the click and feel that it can no longer retract and apply pressure to our puncture site. So yeah, that is just a brief interview or interview, a brief overview of how our uh, devices work and the training that we're able to provide. Um, so as you can see, it's very clear. Uh, we have all the time in the world to kind of go over these products over and over again with our customers um, and really anyone who uses a grinder by one product. Um, so anyone out there, you use our products and they look familiar to you and you wanna get more training for either yourself or your staff, there's a team of product specialists just like me uh, with the manufacturer that are ready to go over this with you virtually. Um, and we can be right there next to you. So yeah, that was kind of just a brief overview of uh, what we do, but I'd be happy to answer any more questions, Genesis. Curious to know, like what are customers saying? Like what are, you know, assuming that, you know, they've been using another product and they mm -hmm. learn about yours and then they adopt it. Like, what are they saying about it? Yeah, I think we get a lot of positive feedback uh, from customers when they see uh, these activations and we kind of explain that, hey, we have three FDA approved ways of activating our device. And then they start thinking, oh yeah, I've never really thought of how I activate my device. I have options now, right? And they have, they're, they're rest assured to know that they're using the device correctly, the way it was uh, meant to be used per our instructions for use. Um, they might also love that we provide that in vein activation where we're offering them an option. So really um, it's options, it's the training, it's, it's very refreshing for a manufacturer to come out here and say, hey, um, we'll hold your hand, we'll go ahead and train you the right way. So I think a, a lot of uh, customers, a lot of leadership um, in the hospitals and the clinics really appreciate this. Um, on the other side of that though, of course, you know, there might be a little um, hes hesitation with change, sure. right? Um, we might grow up as phlebotomists on one product in one manufacturer our whole career. And then we're introduced to a, a new way of doing things. And so I think with every change, there might be a little hesitation, but I, I'm confident in saying that a lot of the time, uh, maybe 99.9% .9 of the time, uh, we win people over with just our training and our understanding and just the patience we have to be there uh, with the technicians as much as they need us to be. Yeah, that's great. And then I will also include your information at the bottom if anybody wants to connect with you to learn a little bit more and just kind of get in touch and like try some of these products to see if like this is something they can see themselves using and maybe they might become a lifetime customer, right? I mean, that's the plan because once you get accustomed to something, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And, and that's how we connected. Um, you know, you had reached out to me um, about arm hug, right? And I, I love the product and I, I love the kit that you provide. And I thought, wow, maybe we should have Grind About One um, blood collection devices in these kits. And that's how we've kind of formed this relationship. Um, so yeah, if anyone has any questions, uh, you can go on gbo.com. Um, you can go there, you can see the products that we have. Um, you might be able to reach out to the product specialist team. If you go to, I believe it's the Academy or Academy, um, and you can actually reach out to our product specialist team and we can connect you with the product specialists in your area. Um, we have a team of product specialists uh, across the United, the United States. We stretch over three time zones um, and we'd love to help anyone out there uh, just learn more about their options. Uh, like we said, you sometimes grow up on one product and we don't really know right. what are other options out there are, are out there um, for blood collection devices. And we'd love to train and to educate and, and kind of show uh, what we have to offer. 
yeah. that's awesome and so now that since it's something that we've talked about previously like with the supply chain being kind of iffy um what are you guys doing to kind of make sure that people are getting the supplies that they need or is there anything is there an extra step that now you're taking to make sure that your customers get their supplies in time or at least get notified mm -hmm. or feel you know that customer service like how do yeah yeah, yeah no definitely um so granted by one like i said we're, we're based in uh well our north carolina or i'm sorry our north america presence is based in uh Monroe, north carolina um on the product specialist side, we're more training and education, but I can tell you the great thing is that even as a product specialist, we've had uh, meetings about the supply chain um, and with our, our, our CEO and just our leadership and how much they stress about what we're doing to get that supply chain going. So um, they, it's really all hands on deck. So like, for example, as a product specialist, more on the training and sales side of things, um, they were looking for volunteers to go ahead and help in uh, Monroe, North Carolina with our supply chain um, issue, just kind of getting packages out of our warehouse and onto trucks. And I actually volunteered to go into that warehouse. I spent a week in North Carolina and I got to know the boots on the ground. And instead of being behind a computer, um, I was in there uh, shipping out boxes, making sure things got out on time. Um, and so it's really all hands on deck, right? And then, like I said, from our leadership, from our CEOs, from our account managers, everyone is concerned about uh, supply chain and just notifying the customers, uh, letting them know, hey, that we're working on it, uh, giving them updates. Um, those type of updates might come from an account manager if they're servicing a hospital. Um, so I wouldn't be able to speak to that so much, but I can tell you that everyone from our CEO to our managers, our account managers, our leadership, everyone is working on that to make sure that we get through the supply chain issue um, and that things get out smoothly and as fast as possible. Um, like I said, even on the product specialist side, not just me, but also some other account managers, um, other product specialists took their time to volunteer and go into the warehouse and help ship out those boxes um, and get things out on time. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. Um, I think that that helps a lot of people feel better when trying new products or things they've, they've never heard before on how you're going to take care of them and how you're going to go above and beyond for something that they're looking for and it's really needed. So, I mean, thank you for taking the time today. Um, that was the last question. If there's anything you wanna add, any plugs, but I will definitely include everything at the bottom of this video. Keep letting us know and keep us posted on how you're doing. We wanna keep hearing about you guys and what, you're, and what great things are gonna happen. So that's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Um, just, you know, Grinder by One is all about making a difference, right? It's all about making a difference in healthcare um, and bringing new uh, ingenuity to the healthcare field, not just healthcare, but the clinical laboratory field, right? Uh, blood collection devices um, from the product specialist to the account manager to CEO of our company. Um, I know that we're all committed to making a difference um, in this field into the future through COVID-19 um, and just helping to educate and provide the best quality service and products that we can. For sure. All right, guys. So you heard it from Eduardo first, right? Go get your supplies. I mean, this sounds like an amazing team and a great company. So I look forward to keep the discussions with you guys and continue just collaborating.